Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. If you have guys a vehicle guys that says the hood is open but actually your hood is closed, stay with us guys, we will explain what needs to be done to fix that. We will demonstrate on forward but it will work on almost any vehicle guys. We will explain what to look for, how to diagnose the system and what to check. Now, quick introduction guys, we will have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video, hopefully guys we can save you quite a bit of money. So let me show you what we have here. This is guys a forward as I said but it will work on most vehicles, it will be that way. You guys, okay, need to make sure that the hood is closed all the way. Okay, ours doesn't go anywhere, believe me, I should it close really good. Now, I'm going to go inside and I'll show you, okay, what we get here. We get a message that the hood is open. Super annoying, guys. Okay, I'll start the car. It says low tire pressure. And next message, hood open. Okay, so if I go back to system check, it will say hood open, guys. Okay, let me even zoom in so you can see it hood open okay why because guys something is wrong the switch that detects if the hood is open or closed it must be messed up we'll explain where you can expect to find that one where it's located what to do and what needs to be done to replace that thing now guys so let's start on it we'll turn the car off and we're going to open the hood now so now we will guys show you we have two different kinds of, uh, of hood switches so make sure you stay until the end we'll demonstrate what most of them look like now at first and then we'll show you you may have the second one you never know newer vehicles guys usually they have that uh, hood switch that detects if the hood is open or closed integrated in the hood latch okay like this one right here and now uh, <laughs> What is happening guys, when you close the hood, okay, it's going to detect it's closed, but if it's bad, it will not detect it. The hood latch is the system that keeps your hood closed, okay, and that releases open when you pull the cable on the inside. So, looking at it now guys, okay, right there, check out this switch here guys. Okay, this switch right here, this, is, this micro switch is the one that detects if the hood is open or closed. When that arm moves, what will happen, actually, it's going to release, okay, that switch and it's going to say open or closed but in our case that switch is bad guys you can see how little of a switch that thing is and often it will cause uh, cause it not to work because of the, over time when you open and close it multiple times they do break always remove the wiring harness check it guys okay to make sure everything's good make sure it's not corroded there is no corrosion move it reinsert it a couple of times see if that fixes the problem also this is the switch okay just move it a little bit with your finger, uh, resituate it, see if that will fix it. If not, guys, you have to replace the hood latch. Sometimes you can buy the switch, but not very many times, guys. Most of the times you have to buy the whole hood latch assembly. And if you want to see where we get our parts from, we have the link in the description of the video below. So this is the first kind. Now I'll show you what the second kind of uh, hood switch looks like. That's used on some older vehicles. And you can even still find it on some newer ones. So let me show you now. So the other kind of switch guys, unfortunately I was going to show you on this vehicle but I just realized that it's missing. Okay, it just gone. And that's why this one says hood open as well. It's a switch right here, it's not integrated in the, okay, in the hood latch. It may be somewhere, okay, on the radiator support, somewhere on the back side, look for it. But it actually will contact the hood, okay, and the switch will open and close. It's a bigger switch like that, I wish I had one but unfortunately guys I don't. So. Uh, you get the idea what I'm talking about guys, it's one of those long switches that detects if it's open or closed, uh, not very, okay, not very complicated, but this one, okay, it's actually missing on that vehicle, this our parts car, and I think, I think somebody probably took it, so hopefully the video will be helpful, thank you guys for watching, please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.